Vitamin D provides protection from cancer, osteoporosis, hypertension, and several autoimmune diseases. Yet we need to be exposed to sunlight every day to get our daily vitamin D intake. The major biological function of vitamin D is to maintain normal blood levels of calcium and phosphorus. Vitamin D also aids in the absorption of calcium, helping to form and maintain strong bones. So two forms of vitamin D are important to humans, vitamin D2 and D3. Vitamin D2 is synthesized by plants, that's why it's important to have vegetation in the diet. Vitamin D3 is synthesized by humans in the skin when it's exposed to ultraviolet B or UVB rays from sunlight. UVA radiation penetrates deep into the skin. UVB radiation is stronger and affects the outer layer of the skin, causing sunburn. Both cause premature aging and skin cancer. So, we all need a level of sun protection that allows us to stay in the sun long enough, yet doesn't use harsh chemicals, which the body will absorb. Ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium oxide, which are usually found in products to block UV rays, are concerning because they are often used in nanoparticles. These minuscule particles are making scientists worry because of this minute particle's ability to penetrate the skin. So we see the need for sun protection, which is non-chemically based or doesn't allow particles to penetrate the skin. So that totally rules out sunscreen lotion. Therefore, the only product that I've seen that will provide maximum sun protection without toxic chemicals is the Sun's whole range of UV protection clothing. Hats and shirts, they have uh, an ultraviolet protection factor of over 50.